Welcome to Slow Home Studio. Too many people live in badly designed houses and we want to change that. Today we have a viewer question about bathrooms and it reads, over the last couple of weeks, I was intensively looking at apartments in Vancouver. I noticed that there is an obsession with a three-piece bathroom, sink, bathtub, and toilet in its minimum form. From my point of view, a small bathtub is pointless. The other oddity I noticed in those apartments is how they stretch the vanity over the toilet. It looks cheap and funny. Yes, I agree. I so here's agree. my question. How would you solve this small bathroom issue from SN? Well, here's a picture that SN sent us of this small bathroom issue. And the real issues are, with this type of configuration, you have no storage. There's absolutely no room for anything under the sink other than the plumbing. And the second big issue is they give you this sort of banjo-shaped countertop, which I hate because it's only giving you the illusion of countertop. You can't really use that part for anything. That's right. And there is also this small issue about the, bath, the bathtub shower. And that's really a preference issue. But I think the real estate metrics say that it should be a bathtub. But I don't yeah. think it always has to be that. SN also sent us this floor plan to just illustrate what, we, what the problem was. And, and you, Matthew is correct. This is the biggest culprit. This, you need 30 inches here as a minimum for, to get the plumbing in for a sink. And that's not going to give you any storage. And then you know, whether you've got that extra little bit of, of, of space over there or not really doesn't make much difference. So even in a small bathroom, we would recommend make sure that you've got at least a 42 inch, hopefully 48 inch, cabinet so that you can have a 12 to 18 inch deep drawer on that side. Yeah, and that makes a world of difference. And uh, this is actually my bathroom. And I live in a small apartment. And I didn't have any room. I had just what you said, one extra foot. What that gave me is it gave me a bank of drawers right here by the door. And to SN's comment, I also eliminated the bathtub. And in the same two foot six area, I put a stand up shower. And I just put a piece of glass here, a freestanding piece of glass, and wrapped the tile around to give the illusion of a much bigger room, even though it's not. So remember, what you need to do is make sure that you've got enough storage space in the vanity. Don't worry about the banjo over the toilet. It's really not very useful. And put some care and time into the way in which the overall bathroom is finished. It'll make a small room feel much bigger. See you tomorrow.